Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sign in as a chemistry graduate student at the University of Tennessee, how to sign in to the new website and edit your own profile. I think that will be beneficial when you are near graduation and you, um, you don't want to set up, a, you want to find a job, but you don't have time to set up a whole website for yourself. And this could be something useful for you and for the employer to look into uh, the website and learn more about you. So what you have to do is, the first um, step is to open a browser. I'm using Google Chrome here. All right, so I already have cam.utk.edu open up. But if you don't, uh, you can just type in cam.utk.edu. OK, we are at the website right now. And it's the public website, which means the internal site has not been displayed because we haven't logged in. To log in, you move your mouse over to Logins and click on Chemistry. OK, so here I'm going to use a graduate student account as a demonstration. So I'm going to use Sam's account. And Sam, don't worry, um, this is just a dummy passcode uh, password I set up for you. Once you log in yourself, use your UT Net ID and your UT password, it will overwrite. So now I'm logging as Sam. OK, so we can see the profile page of Sam. I already uploaded a picture for Sam. Mm. And this is the only thing you cannot modify that uh, yourself, because I really don't want you to upload a picture of a potato or a hamster as your profile picture. And of course, like many other social networking sites, a uh, profile page um, could be something beneficial to you. But at the same time, it's always um, double uh, double edged sword if you have something crazy on the side, it might hurt you in your job hunting. So what you want to do is, once you are at the account page, you can click edit, and then you will, um, the edit page will show up, and you don't have to worry about current password and everything, because it will be the same as your UT net ID and your UT password. So here, you can see education and honor. So if your page showed up, as this, a raw HTML. If you are comfortable writing HTML code, that's good. You can use the raw HTML. If you want to change it to um, a module where you can actually use some editing tools like the stuff down here, all you have to do is click the arrow mm -hmm. um, besides text format and click full HTML. And voila, you have the editing tools show up. So you should just start typing and it's the very similar you can see the um, editing tools here available are very similar to what you can use in the Microsoft Word so I think uh, the learning curve is really not that steep um, so let's just type in something for Sam let's say University of Tennessee Knoxville um, PhD and let's just put um, forgot which semester Sam enrolled. Let's just put 2011, I think I'm right, uh, to current. OK, so we updated this one. And then here you have additional information. You have, and if you have any awards, like if you have one on the ACS, poster presentation awards, um, presentation awards, paper competition, you will put the stuff in here. Uh, let's just write awards here. And for the research, I will put the research description about what I'm doing here. But since I don't know much about uh, Sam's research, I will just put the best group here. Representative publications. Again, this is where you can put a list of publications. I do want to stress how important this is to get all the uh, reference style correct and to be consistent if you're using certain style. OK, this biographical sketch. Um, you can write anything about yourself. I would just write Sam is an awesome person. Okay. All right. As you can see, um, you can save right now. And also, um, like I mentioned, this could function, this page could function as your resume. So people will be able to see your publications. You can include the links here. Um, the, the link is also very simple. Um, say if I type publication one and I 
select this and I just click the small button here which says link so you can put a link here and you can put on any website address here and if you want to open this website in another um, tab or in another browser you click on target and for onset you just click on new window and af afterwards you put OK OK I have to type in URL let's just link to cam.utk.edu OK and you click OK now it's um it's a link it's an active link and I always encourage people to put target as a new window to open up if you don't want uh, people to um, lose this window already opened to look at your profile page because um, sometimes people do get lost and then they saw a link on the website and then they click the link again and they have to use the backspace so many times to get back to the original page so I always uh, recommend people to actually have them to open in a new window all right so we're done editing Sam's page so let's save and see what it looks like see it's running running you can you can kind of see it's processing it's saving all the information okay so a green bar will show up here says um, the changes have been saved if you don't see this uh, you have to wait until it's it's there and okay so you can make more changes and then click on save again but we want to see what it looks like right now well, let's go to the view so this is the account page as you can see we have some information we already entered for Sam and if you want to see what other people can see what you will do is you go to people and you search by name for example um, not for example we're going to search Sam okay we have several Sam up so I'm going to click on Sam here okay the page showed up you have a nice picture and you have all the information we just put in this education remember and additional information we put awards research we put best group and also the representative publication see when we click on it okay I just put cam I should put um, www.cam.utk.edu but you get an idea if we uh, since we we actually program it to be opening in another window so we don't lose this page we don't lose Sam's profile page the link will be opened up in another page okay so that's how you're going to do it and if you want to edit that again go to my account edit okay so see you have everything here I am just going to remove everything so Sam could come in later on to edit all the stuff himself and there is another thing I want to tell you is that if you do have another picture you want to use send me the picture I will look at that make sure it's a person before I post it online and also if you want to update any other information um, on your page for example I'm going to show you here because you are actually all linked with a group for example um, let's see Dr. Best we can see he has a tab here where it shows the current group members um, apparently we don't have Sam in here because I didn't know Sam has actually officially joined Michael Best group so I guess he did enroll in 2012 um, but anyway so if I miss your information such as which group you belong or if you change group let me know so I can link you to the right group and people can actually click to look at your profile page from professors um, websites and they know who you are working with okay so that's the tutorial and um, after you are done you can log out or you can if it's your personal computer you don't have to log out you can just leave it up there all right thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for watching if you have any questions um, you know how to find me just email me